Colts win, Star Wars makes bank, and Mayor Bill passes. I'm Justin Mack, and this is The Drop. In case you missed it, the Colts had dished out a 34-6 whipping on the road against the Vikings, and despite their 7-7 record, they still have a slim chance of actually making the playoffs. But here's all the stuff that has to happen for that to become reality. The Colts need to win their final two games against the Raiders and the Jags. Houston needs to lose its last two games against the Bengals and the Titans. And Tennessee needs to lose to Jacksonville, but beat Houston. And after all that, the Colts finally get into the playoffs, and then they get bumped by the Patriots. Star Wars Rogue One landed over the weekend, and to no one's surprise, it made a ton of money. $155 million domestically and about $290 million worldwide. All that cash, despite a dump Star Wars boycott started by some people who felt that the movie was anti-Trump and portrayed the villains as a white supremacist organization. And you know what? They've got a point. I'm sick and tired of the Galactic Empire ignoring the terrible labor conditions in the spice mines of Kessel while funneling endless credits into the creation of a super weapon. And don't get me started on that Wookiee agenda. And finally, former Indianapolis Mayor Bill Hudnett died over the weekend. He was 84 years old. In addition to being Indy's longest serving mayor, he was also considered its most charismatic. And he ran the city as it underwent a massive transformation, especially downtown. As far as accomplishments, like the Colts and Pacers, thank Hudnut for bringing them and keeping them. Like the downtown shopping mall, thank Hudnut for introducing the idea in the late 70s. Like progress, Thank Hudnut for appointing the first black person to serve as the post of deputy mayor. So thanks, Mayor Bill, for all you've done, and rest in peace. That's it for The Drop. I'm Justin Mack.